Hey guys, like horror movies here, and welcome back. Let's play some more RPG. Let's go ahead and down this chest over here and see what lies inside. If I didn't make my way over here. Yeah, you may have noticed in the last episode, there's a chest I skipped earlier. There's a secret room behind those row of boxes that I skipped over. It had a frog point in it, so I, I just went and got that off camera, so no big deal there. Anyway, new enemy here. This is a hide in. This is another chest enemy from earlier. Uh, this guy is fairly hard, so we want to go with Geno Boost on Mario first thing to boost his attack. And they will have Mario spam super jump on him because it's super effective against a box. So, let's go in and get to it. Super jump! Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. That's kind of sucky, actually. Monsters are inside. These guys are Doom Bets, I believe, right? So, yeah, we'll have um, Gino and Tolted over these for right now. Then we'll have Mario keep going for the um, hide in. Or heat on, hide in, whatever. I'm going to say hide in just because it makes a little more sense. I don't know. Let's try this again. Oh, what? Only two? What the hell? Wow, my super jump's apparently failing today big time. I have really no idea why. Yeah, these things are actually fairly strong for just being little tiny doom bats. So we'll have to watch out for those. But yeah, once you take care of the hiding, uh, the rest should be pretty easy, actually. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this actually almost be treated as a mini boss fight of sorts just because, I mean, the hiding is actually a fairly powerful enemy and we're not as much powerful, but oh well. Yeah, the, the little the side boss and little minion, so yeah, it's actually almost like the boss fight of sorts. That was much better. That was like, what, 14 or 15, I think? That was much, much better. I approve of set super jump. And I need to heal, otherwise I will die. So, yeah, there you go. See, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, spam group hug. Yeah, they're a little higher level than I am. I think a little a level 13, Gino will learn Gino Blast. Actually, no, is it Blast or Flash? I forget which one. Yeah, he'll learn a, a multi-target attack. It's actually pretty damn powerful, actually. So if you, if you want to use that, by all means do so. It'll make the battle a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, sadly, I don't have it yet, but hopefully I will soon. Yeah, for the, for the attack to stop it, yeah, you know it's a little delayed right there, actually. You have to do the, uh... With the and then uh, actually hit A to guard it, so. Yeah, other than that, that's nothing, nothing really too hard there. Yeah, just have Mario go for the hide-in first, and then just um, heal up as needed, and we're good to go, really. Oh, wow. Okay, so wait, how did Mario deal 200 HP one time, and then 30 the next time? How does that even work? I have no idea, but whatever. So just go take out these guys real quick. Um, there you go, easy enough. And for that battle, we did lots of experience points. And we also get a safety badge, a very, very good accessory, actually. Let's go ahead and equip this on somebody, definitely. Uh, let's go ahead and give it to Gino. Uh, raises special defense and defense by 5. It also prevents mutant poison attacks. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this to Gino for Soiton. There we go. Now, I want to say this chest over here has a mushroom inside of it. I wanted to wait for it until later. Okay, don't know how that happened, but oh well. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, heal up there. There you go, much better. And also, oh, what's in here now? Oh, more coins, yay. Do I even really need coins at this point? I don't think I do. I'm still in match, aren't I? Yeah, I am in match coins. Yeah, I don't I don't need coins for quite a while. Anyway, new area. Let's make our way um actually let's go in this door first. Which leads into down oh leads into this way. And then we'll go this way. Oh new enemies here as well, by the way. I'll show them off. Actually, no, these aren't new. I found them earlier. Never mind. Yeah, these aren't new. Never mind. Yeah, if I didn't oh well, yeah, I'll mention real quick, yeah, these are just like them, their cousins earlier, um, yeah, they're just these guys. Yeah, they're actually pretty damn easy, Mr. Kipper. They're so polite and, and formal, being called Mr. Kipper. But oh yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I found these guys before earlier in the actual seat part. By the way, um, yeah, if you, for an easy battle, if you have Mallow along with you, um, use Thunderbolts and um, you should be fine. Actually, even better, yeah, use Gino Bolt on Mallow first, then use Thunderbolt. That's a way for Mallow on one hit actually. Yeah, I don't have Mallow along, and I actually don't really like him. I don't, I don't like using them all that often later in the game, really. I mean, he's still good, don't get me wrong, but I mean, there's people that are better than him. I mean, this party right here is probably the best in the game, in my opinion. Hence why I'm using the, the party for, for, for the rest of the game, actually. Ah, fish attack! Kind of like the magic using, magic using tackle. Only it actually, actually deals a decent amount of damage. Sort of. Now, there we go. Oh, level for Toadstool, yay! HP, yes, she needs HP, actually, so let's go ahead and boost up HP even more, actually. Just because, yeah, she's still really, really far behind the rest of the party, so. Let's go ahead and uh, nab this frog coin over here, if I can get over there. Stop following my movements, you stupid fish. Okay, 
to the to the coin. There you go. I have no idea why I'm smarter than Jet that. It was right there, but couldn't get it. Oh well. At this point, now it's time to go underwater. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, SpongeBob reference for the win. Yeah, love me some SpongeBob Boing. Yeah, this room can be held just because there's so many enemies in here. You have to avoid them all. But um, luckily, I actually did pretty damn well at avoiding them. So there you go. Yeah, I may fast forward this. I'm really not sure. I mean, this battle it doesn't take too doesn't take too too long. So I'll, I'll leave it in like I have a choice anyway. So there you go. They have these guys are actually floating. I mean, we're in water, yes, but I mean they're also floating in manner as if there's no water here. So if they were in water, these guys would be dead. But um, I mean, you clearly saw we're in a room full of water. So of course they're swimming, but still. And that just means starting more lodge into an RPG just does not work. Just doesn't. That's a battle you just not win. I'm sorry. But oh yeah, these guys die easy enough to being slapped and shot and hammered. So easy enough. There you go. And moving right along. Now this room. Let's go ahead and make our way back this way first to a secret passage of sorts. We did this chest. We did the safety rain. Yeah, this chest. Um, uh, the item same as the safety badge really. Um, yeah, this prevents um. Garden's Mortal Blow, so let's go ahead and give this to a Mario for right now. There we go. Alright, perfect. Now, let's make our way... Uh, first, we'll go over to the top left corner of the room first, actually. There's a frog point up there that I want to get. And yeah, this is a uh, blooper over there. We fought him before already. And uh, this little blooper children, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just leave this alone and just make our way over this way. I have no idea how Mario's actually swimming right now. I mean, he's not moving his arms or his legs at all. And he's just kind of... It's just a floating head in the water. I mean, we didn't see his feet any at, at all either, for that matter. Um, so I don't really know how he's swimming actually right now. But oh well. He um, jump. There you go. Hey, we've made it to the end at last. Pirates, yar! We are pirates. That was bad grammar. You are a pirate. And yes, these guys are actually pirates. Just their name says so. We ain't letting you through, yar! For many boss time, sort of. What do we have here? These guys are bandana red. Yeah, these guys, um, yeah, they use spears um, to deal damage, obviously. Um, they're not really too hard, though. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, physical attacks are just fine here. If you want to use Geno Boost, by all means do so, but I don't really think you need to. Yeah, we'll just go all out, really. And there you go. These things die easily enough. I mean, Mario with the Master is more than enough for right now. So there you go. Skewer. Now. That made me hungry for food. I'm still hungry, actually. From the recording episode, Final Fantasy Now, something about pizza earlier. Um, yeah, I'm actually still hungry. I haven't, I haven't, uh, blah, blah, haven't eaten yet, actually. Well, I uh, haven't had dinner yet, actually. Um, I have eaten today, of course. Yeah, for lunch earlier, I had um, some pizza. Well, this is a couple days ago, actually, when I'm uploading this. But um, yeah, I had uh, pizza for lunch and then also ice cream afterwards for a little pseudo dessert, and it was delicious. A war on the upper deck. Now, if you want to, yeah, this chest up there has a healing mushroom in it if you want to use it. I'm not going to. I want to save that for later, actually. So let's go ahead and um, make our way up here. Ow! Where's your insurance? You just flatten me, you dumbasses. There I am. Hi. Run away! Upstairs. Oh, crap. Now we're surrounded. Um, <laughs> barrel fail. Okay. How dare you dodge the barrel? It was coming right at me. It would have killed me, you bastards. So how dare I avoid it? How dare I indeed, really, I mean, come on now, like, for serious. But, uh, well, round two against five of these guys, um, not just the same as that battle, really, there's just one more of them, simple simple enough. Yeah, same strategy as before, just a physical attach, and you're good to go. Yeah, I think I'm trying to think of weaknesses, if they're weak to anything, they might be weak to thunder, just because they're either pirates, they're sea-type enemies, so that's my guess, but, eh, I'm not too worried about that. Oh yeah, having Mallow around, uh, having having Mallow around here would actually be helpful just because of all the enemies weak to thunder. But I don't really feel the need to. I'd say one nice thing about this game is that you can pretty much win with any party that you use. I mean, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter who it is. Although having Tozo along is pretty much just almost a necessity of sorts because I mean, she has the best healing match of the entire game. Although having Mallow works as well just because he has HP range, so there's that. I Man, still Tozo's just a far and away the best character in the game actually, just because. Later on, she gets uber, uber powerful. She has tons of HP. Uh, one of the best, one of the best weapons in the game, actually, and the best healing spells in the game. 
So she's pretty much the best character all around, actually. So pretty much yeah, having her and Mario, you're good to go, really. And this character's really up to you, in my opinion. So there you go. And yeah, we win. Easy enough. Levels? Nah. Okay. Oh, it's a Johnny. Ooh. The main boss of this part. Finally, we've been here for like, what, four episodes now, I think? Let's go and uh, heal up first thing. Now, do I need to do anything else before we go and fight Johnny? Um, let's see. Your party's fully healed. Um, FP as well. I have a mushroom. Why, I don't really know. Oh, I actually got one earlier in the battle, so I didn't I didn't think to toss it. Uh, Equipment-wise, uh, Masher, Sailor Shirts, um, nothing else we need to really do around here, so where did they go? So let's go fight Johnny for the star. Yeah, we found you at last. You're the Mario, the one and only Mario, as if there's, uh, this, as if there's any other Mario around here. How about the fight for it? For boss time, and it's Johnny! And more of these guys. These are bandana blues. These guys are actually... Yeah, they're a little harder than the, than the bandana reds. So, um, yeah, what, what I want to do for this battle, um, take out three of the guys first, actually, in front of Johnny. Leave one, just because. And then we'll just do it straight for Johnny. And as usually, uh, Gino boosts first thing, um, in uh, order of, uh, Mario, Toad Sold, and Gino. And then we'll just go from there. Now, the reason why I want to take out three of these guys and not four is because if you take out all four of them, you'll fight Johnny one-on-one -on -one with this Mario, and I really don't want to do that. And that makes, that makes the battle a lot harder than it really has to be, so it's just a hell of a lot easier just to fight, to t just to kill three of the guys, and then just go for Johnny, and then we'll just go from there. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and just work on doing that. Yeah, luckily, yeah, these guys aren't really too, too hard. They're a little more powerful than the Bandana Reds, as I said before, but nothing really to worry about. So just go Gino boosting the entire party, you're good to go, really. Yeah, they want to, um, Johnny either use Super Flame or Super Jump, um, by all means do so, I really don't feel the need to do that. This physical, atta physical attacks work just, work just fine anyway, so there you go. Ooh, lucky, nice. In a boss battle too, that'll be really helpful. I may have the um, save, state of, save state of boost if I did a double experience points chance. We shall see what happens. Pierce, ow. Huh, zero damage, you fail. Miss, you also fail. I don't know how you can miss, you're, I'm, you're, I'm right in front of you and you miss somehow. I don't know how that works, but I digress. Oh well. Let's go and take down Bandana Blue number three. Boom. Oh, there we go. Another lucky, as if I really needed it, but oh well. At this point, yeah, now the numbers are in our favor, so we pretty much actually won. Just about, I mean, we haven't even, we haven't even attacked Johnny yet, but yeah, we've pretty much won. And pretty much, I just go all out at this point. They need to heal, group hug, or therapy, take your pick. Whatever situation calls for at that time, but... Pretty much, yeah, at this point, we're good to go. And, yeah, nice trident. Looks like a giant fork, really, but yeah, I mean, trident is kind of a fork. I mean, it's, it's a spear, but I mean, it looks, like, it looks like a fork as well, so, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Johnny. What actually is he? Is he, like, is he a shark? I'm assuming he has just, just has a fin on, on his head. I mean, that's my guess, anyway. Do I need to heal? Nah, I'm good. So pretty much, yeah, he's a shark that carries a trident. That's pretty damn cool, actually. Kind of like King Neptune said, more badass. I had to wonder, also, a little bit of the area that we're at, why are all the barrels around here? I mean, we were fighting Johnny in a different room, and there's, there were no barrels in sight, to my knowledge. Although, this is the same battle screen for the entire part around here, so, nah, oh well. Let's see how many barrels there are on the screen now anyway. I see one, two, three, four, five. There, there's a lot of barrels around here. I don't feel like counting them all. Anyway, you saw, you saw Johnny use the uh, Get Tough right there. That's uh, raises his defense by a handful of points. Uh, unseen points, I guess. Yeah, he's still pretty damn easy. He's still physical attacks and still um, go all out and kill him. Oh, actually, what I want to try, I want to try Geno Beam. See if that does any more damage by chance. You see, I know that Get Tough raises special defense as well, but we shall see. Let's see, how much damage does that deal? Nah, uh, that sucked actually. Well, okay, we'll just do physical attacks then. Boom, nice shot. Hey, we got him already! Nice! Nice job, Team Mario, Gino, Tolstol, MGT. And last time just dies off afterwards, so. Ooh, wow, a lot of experience points. And double coins? Nah, I'll pass on that. If it were experience points, I might risk it, but in this case, I'm not going to. Yay, we got the star! Do, 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 do. That's a fifth star already. Wow, we are making great progress. This is episode, like what, twenty-two, I think. And we already have five stars. Wow. Average is out to a st one star per four episodes, just about. With a little carryover, of course. 
Yay, we did it! It's our fifth star already! Yeah, I know at some point you did play on an emulator, the game will actually freeze at the spot right here. Luckily, I have, I've been lucky, so it actually has not frozen, and I hope it does not, because I'd be really, really pissed if that happens. So, there we go. And we'll leave Johnny to salt, and we will return to the surface. And you can still jump on the, jump on the, there you go, Mario, jump on the trampoline, there you go. Alright then, back to Seaside Town. And, oh, crap, um, hi, Mr. Elder, um, yeah, we have the star for you. Um, no, who are you? No, really, who are you? We'll find out next time, let's play Super Mario RPG! This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching!